So I just purchased my new MacBook Pro for this year, 2021. It's a MacBook with the M1 Pro chip. So I'm really excited about this. And I wanna show you how I set up my computer from scratch. Things I do to kickstart my trading and get right on the trading stuff. So I wanna show you how that works. I have three tips, three things you gotta install for this that you need to have on your MacBook Pro or any MacBook for that purpose to be able to trade properly and run algos and pretty much make profits. So I'll show you how that works out. Very simple stuff, but things that make a big difference. So let's begin with something obvious, and that is the TradingView app. Now this is really good for people who want to trade on TradingView, you want to be able to do your analysis there on that platform. It works out pretty good. Now the reason why I recommend the app instead of the web browser version, and I've done a video on that in the past, I'll leave it link in the corner somewhere on the screen, just check it out. Uh, that platform is more stable, it's running faster, you don't have to worry about like your browser crashing or something. And it just makes it for an easier way of using things. You can use multiple screens that way. Uh, you can open different tabs like this of, the, of your trading view. So you can have different things you look at. So here I have my crypto, here I have my Forex on the other side. And that makes it pretty good to, to use. So it's pretty good. Uh, you're able to kind of transition between these things really fast, use these things really quickly, have many profiles open, like I said, multiple screens there, and make the process much more enjoyable. This app is available on both Mac and Windows. So I, I used to use it on my Windows computer. Now I use it on my Mac as well. Definitely recommend it to be able to get faster in your charts and have a better experience there overall. In my video on the platform, I cover how to use algos and things. So that's really easy to do. It's so able to do the same thing that you do on your browser, but on your computer. And it allows you to use more power, more resources. So that's, that's pretty good. That's the best thing I recommend first that you install on your computer. Now, the second thing that is a really big key for me is because I use MT4 for some brokers or MT5 and MetaTrader 5 for some brokers that don't yet support TradingView is I need to have a MT4. Now, I've installed before the MT5 version for Mac. Now, the, the FOU version for Mac that is available on uh, any broker website. So I know 8cap, they have this, this MT5 version for Mac. Uh, I believe other brokers have it also. So let me show you what it is here. I'll just launch it to my Mac quickly. It's over here. So M MetaTrader 5. I'll leave a link if you want to check it out. But you'll see it's really crappy. In terms of, it looks quite old. It looks like an MT4, even though it's an MT5. So the version is like really, really old. Uh, things work out all right, but it's just, it's just, it just feels like really old and weird. Uh, plus, plus many plugins don't work on MT5 for Mac. Uh, it says here that it's, uh, it used, it used to tell me it was like out of date, so I had to update it. There was no update available. Kind of weird, so if you wanna use it, use it, for sure, works out fine. But I really recommend you use a real MT5 for Windows. Now the way this works is it's really simple. You've got two options. First option is something called Bootcamp. Bootcamp is available for Macs, and it's a way that it's free to run Windows. You just have to install Windows on that Bootcamp. It makes like two separate computers, so you gotta restart your computer to access Bootcamp. And then you can just run Windows. So you start your computer, you can choose if you wanna go on your Mac or your Windows within your Mac, and then you just go on it and do your work, whatever you have to do that on that. Now the downside of it is that you have to restart your whole computer just to access your Windows, and I don't really like that. So the second option, which I prefer, is using something called Parallel. Parallel, they've been around for a long time. I used to use this before on my old Mac when I had a Mac before. It works amazingly well. So as you can see, I'm still on a demo version of this. I'll definitely buy the real version whenever I finish the demo. I just want to see that things work out fine, things are okay, and there's no bug here. I had a few bugs when I installed the first time, but it's all right. So what this does is it's your Windows computer. Now you can see it's gonna be resuming. And on this, I primarily trade my cryptos on that platform. So as you can see here, you've got your real Windows environment, same thing, okay? On your Mac, it's still a Mac, but you still have your Windows here. You can do full screen or you can do like a smaller screen or you can do what it's called, they call this the coherence mode where you have basically your applications that are like not on Windows, they kind of launch on your Mac, but you can just run them here on Windows like this. So if you want to run like your Edge browser, I believe you can go somewhere here and run your Edge browser. So you can see my MT4 is here. And now I'm in the loss on, on, on these trades for cryptos, but it's kind of running like on a simple Mac. So it's pretty good, works out quite well in that uh, circumstances. So that's one thing that's really cool. So you can run your MT5 there. Like you can see the MT5 here is much more modern. It's gonna be updated more easily. It's a lot, lot, lot better there. So that's quite cool. So I definitely recommend that. 
Now the other thing, if you are someone who runs Argos, you need to have a VPS, a virtual private server. What that VPS does is simple. It's allowing you to basically run your MT4 or MT5 all the time, 24 seven. Now you could, you could do this in parallel. You could run your MT4, MT5, 24 seven there. You have to leave your computer open, make sure not to close it, make sure it's not like in, in standby or something. So what I recommend is get a VPS. Now I use a very cheap provider of my VPS. It's called AccuWeb Hosting. Now they have a VPS especially for Forex, that is this one. And of course I'll leave links below to all these resources in the description. If you wanna check it out that way, all the links will be in the description for that. Well that VPS is pretty good, it's pretty cheap. It starts at I think $12 a month even, so that's really cheap. I use the middle one, that's at $27 a month or so. And it works, it works really well, really fast, really good. Now what this does is that you can run a full computer that is hosted somewhere else and runs 24 seven all the time, anytime you want. And you can have any platforms open there 24 seven. So to be able to access this on your Mac, you need an app called uh, Microsoft Remote Desktop. I'll just launch this here quickly and we'll see how we can log into this. Uh, here it is, sorry, log in here. So I have my account over here and I run a full MT4 there 24 seven all the time with my Argos. As you can see, we have an Argo here running on that platform. And if I just go here and go to properties, you'll see the Algo is here and running all the time 24 seven. So pretty good to run your Algo and to be able to do trades like this anytime. That's running all the time. No matter if my computer is closed or open, I've got a demo account running for my testing purposes. And I've got a live account running for my own trading right there. So that's, that's pretty good. Uh, Slack also, but that's another topic. So these three things, trading view, the parallel with MT4, MT5, whichever platform you prefer. You can also run any other platform like CTrader or anything that's only based on Windows. Uh, you can also install your software effects there for backtesting. I've done a video on that in the past, which I'll leave in the corner somewhere here. These things allow you to run any Windows application, even some games if you want, if you're a gamer or something. Pretty good with that. And the last thing, of course, we talked about is a VPS. Now they have a lot of different providers there. You can use whichever you prefer. Uh, but make sure you install your MT4, MT5 there. You can run Algos. I have an Algo that I run, my own Algo, which you can find the link for that in the description below. It's called the Bollinger Band Reversal Strategy Algo. It's going to allow you to take trades 24 seven with that strategy. So check it out if you want. It's not super expensive for what it, it gives you for returns. It's pretty good for that. I'll leave a link below in the description. You can check it out, of course. Let me know what else you like on your Mac. What else do you prefer for your trading? Any other tool you like, make sure you comment below with this. I wanna hear your thoughts. If that's useful as a video, let me know. I don't do many tech videos like this, but I thought it would be good to go back and show you things I do on my Mac and things you can do yourself. So I want to hear your thoughts, of course. Subscribe if it's not done yet. And I'll catch you back here in the next video pretty soon. Ciao.